Big Mix Lee in the house. Lifesaver Lou, I'm Spicoli. And don't forget our big rock and rebuild benefit coming up this Friday at the Haltom Theater featuring Andy Timmons, Coilback, Dark Avenue, Adam Nanez, and of course the Joey C. Jones Band. And wouldn't you have it? Yes. Say hello to Kenny, <laughs> Dave, Antonio, and Joey C. Jones. Spicoli, Big Mix Lee, thank you so much for having us. I'm sorry that that we were late. I got bailed out about 45 minutes ago. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. We want to thank all of our friends that are listening. Just thrilled to be on the air. Thanks again. Uh, glad for to have Thanks you. Come back. It's been too long. I'm just glad you guys aren't in the bunker where we were before with the scorpions and the. The, the cat litter and the, and the snakes yeah. and the UFOs because yeah I I think the last time we were here was about a year and a half ago and I was certain that I would never be invited back again so <laughs> when, uh, well, when uh, Spicoli told me I think it was Wednesday or something I was I was excited well we actually had to destroy that building you were in the last time so yeah yeah uh, don't sort of, yeah. we might have to destroy this one now too but uh, be nice uh, dude I swear okay I'm gonna tell you the honest to goodness truth. When you came in the last time, you guys were, I was worried. I, was, I had the dump button real close, you know. I was, I was getting ready to dump it, and you guys were awesome. But we get Andy Timmons on the show. The guy, <laughs> the guy who doesn't talk to anybody hardly. He's real quiet, and he hides over and does his thing. I hit the dump button like four times oh, with him. Yeah. yeah. I was like, man, the, the, it's just the opposite. Totally <laughs> up. And then when we had the girls in here, wow, that was a... I was just packing my stuff and going home that night. Call to tell them there's supposed to be girls in here tonight. Oh, they're in the other room. Oh. Yeah, they're yeah. washing their hair in that sink in the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the I green got room all back there. Up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to attempt. Um, I don't know what we're going to attempt. We got some guitars in here. This is a really small room. Uh, we're not really set up for anything yet. We got microphones on stands poking every direction. And we're going to attempt to play some songs with you guys. Yeah, you know, attempt is really the a good, a good <laughs> word um, because, uh, you know, we are a electric rock band. Sure. The uh, two songs that uh, we chose to do acoustically right. really wasn't meant to be done acoustically, as you will find out here in about three minutes. <laughs> um, and, but we're, we're still thrilled to be here. And Tony and I have a bit of a cold. That's no excuse. I got rear-ended by some idiot last night. That's no excuse. But we're just damn thrilled to be here and cannot wait for the 27th. Well, yeah. you're, you're kind of in luck because nobody listens to this show anyway. So oh, we're that going. That is then. not true. That is not true. <laughs> so, all right. I'm good. Before we get going anywhere, I'm just going to get you guys to make some noise on those guitars. And I'm just going to turn them up. It doesn't matter. Just play your sound check song here. Yep. An on air yep. sound check. Yeah, that'll work. And yeah, uh, Dave Dave Crow just uh, learned one of these songs today. Now, yeah. before we get going, you have to introduce Mr. Dave Absolutely. Crow. Absolutely. Well, first, uh, now, Kenny Size Love, I met him in 1984. We were really young. Very young, <laughs> and, uh, and right. he was, wow. and his and he was in this cool band called Black Star, really really good. And we done a couple shows together at, at an old Matley's club, and uh, and then shortly after that, Kenny and I did, it was in Stiff, and we did a few shows together at Houston Cardi's, and you know we were sure. like the two big drawing acts. I've known him for that long. And we've been playing together now since uh, 2009. Nice. Much to his dismay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You must have some Dave dirt Crow. On him, you know what I'm saying? Dave Crow and I, we were in a band called Orange Helicopter. Dave, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Great record. And, and Dave, was, Dave decided to help us out and, and play bass for us in, in this band now. Nice. And he's also got a project called Thunder Horse, which is really good. Some cool. good. Dark metal, you should really check that we'll out. We'll put some links oh, up on our Facebook dark page for metal. the Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> you have my attention. And I've known Dave, I believe, since uh, 98. Antonio Brazil, yeah. what a voice on this guy. He's, <laughs> he's honestly one of the greatest people I've ever met. I wish they, that he would say that about me. <laughs> I, 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 met him, I met him four years <laughs> ago. <laughs> and the first time that we had jammed and I heard his voice, it was like amazing. I've only been in bands with like two really great singers, Les Farrington, from Sugar Bomb to Glory Hounds yeah. and, and Antonio. Right. Yeah. Is he trying to take your job? You know what? He should probably just go <laughs> go full on solo. You know, <laughs> I, 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 no. He, <laughs> he must feel uh, sorry for me or something. Right. But uh, yeah, we are going to do two tunes that were meant to be done in electric. And here goes. All right. I'm in. You and I definitely picked a bad month to quit drinking. <laughs> Damn. It's, yeah, it's always a bad month, dude. This uh, first song was written by Dave Crow, and it is titled, 
I'll be all right on my own. One, two, three. Oh. No time forever What the hell is that? Always so clever I guess that's where it's at I feel it, believe it I see it through clandestine eyes You say it's all gone away it just don't matter so if you're not here today I'll be alright on my own Gone forever And feelings left behind I feel it Believe it I see it Through clandestine eyes You say It's all gone away It just don't matter So if you're not here today I'll be alright on my own Yes, I should have seen it coming Clairvoyancy yesterday Oh, oh I'll be alright on my own Yes, I will Yeah! Woohoo! You should have been like, uh, you're 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 in the wrong generation. You should have been playing out live when the Beatles were out playing live, man. Yeah, I, I because I always felt you the, got uh, that vibe way. going on. Yeah, I do. It, that was obviously my favorite band, and that 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 was the kind of band I always yeah, I, wanted to be in. Right. And I, I tried it, and I just wasn't quite that good. And so <laughs> I, yeah. I, I I turned into a rock guy. Yeah, but absolutely. I, Beatles, ELO, Ch Cheap Trick, Cheap Trick, yeah, Sweet, absolutely. Uh, my band, uh, my friends and producers, Cheap Trick. Yeah, course, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, you uh, you have a story about that whole thing. I, yeah, I, you, we I, talked about I last got time. To but you record with them. Yeah, nice. it was a true pleasure. I learned so much. Rob Zander, hands down, is just the, as the best. It Cheap Trick, still sound Cheap great Trick today. is the greatest American ago. rock band in history. American pop rock band in history. They definitely are. Everybody, think, even the most hardcore metal bands, love Cheap Trick. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. and I and it was I, I loved working with them. 
I'm not sure that they was thrilled about working with me and my band. <laughs> they, 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 you know, they enjoyed being paid. But well, we'll have to wow, wait for the book good. to come out. We'll have to wait for the book to come out yeah. to find out. Is there ever going to be a book, Joey? I'm already in their books. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm not a bragger. <laughs> yes, I'm in every. I'm, uh, I'm in the book. Cheap tricks. Every trick in the book twice. Uh, yeah. twice. That's cool. I'm I mean, are you going to write your own book? <laughs> yeah. Ever. Uh, you know, I. I really have problems with spelling. No, uh, you just uh, you punctuation. They have no. people for that. Yeah, you just have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. you just need to read it into a tape recorder, and somebody will do the work for you. You know, it would definitely be an entertaining book. But yes, it, 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 would. it would definitely be a, probably a thin paperback, <laughs> but it would be way entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> could absolutely. Be, dude, just make a comic. Yeah, I was just going to say. It could yeah. Be like a, in all a seriousness, novel. as a comic. <laughs> yeah. Well, no one's ever taken me seriously in any facet anyway, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Well, again, we can't thank you guys enough for coming out tonight because we are, you, everybody knows, it's been everywhere, uh, Cannon Wind was destroyed by a tornado, like, gone. I don't even know if the building's still, did they knock it down yet? It's Anybody? still there, but it's, it's Yeah, still you can't, you can't there. go in there. It's, uh, they yeah. got it blocked up. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's still in pieces of, it's it got the banner up still, so we're still advertising Cannon <laughs> which is nice. <laughs> we should have told people to go there. <laughs> yeah, we could do an outdoor show out there, yeah, still, right, yeah. but still be in the studio, which is great. <laughs> it was it was totally heartbreaking driving yeah, through that all absolutely. that entire area. Just absolutely, but we're, we're we're coming up in the ranks. We're slowly earning money, and the pledge drive helped. And what this these these um these events? I can't speak. I'm too tired. These events are really going to help a lot too. We're we're moving up. We're a little bit bigger room. We, but all the furniture is coming in, so we're getting real close to actually having a studio soon. This is great. Oh, yes. this is fantastic. Hey, listen, we are thrilled to be anywhere. We're thrilled to <laughs> have you guys here tonight uh, as absolutely. well as playing. Lucky us. And then donating your time Friday night. That yeah. means so oh, much man, to th us. That is going to be a great show. Listen, man, I love Andy Timmons. Andy absolutely. Timmons just recently uh, recorded the Sgt. Pepper record in its entirety. Yeah. And I seen him maybe about six months ago on um, uh, PBA. What is it? K-E-R-A? Yeah, yeah, PBS. PBS. Yep. Unbelievable. And Dave and I did a show with Andy. I think that was about ninety nine. It yeah. was a, it was an outdoor show. I can't I can't remember where it was. I done a lot of drinking in those days. <laughs> I, 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 I thought I, you were going to say you saw him on PBR. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. uh, Joey, do you have any? Uh, when, how long have you known Andy? I mean, did you guys ever cross paths when he was in Danger Danger and you were doing uh, Shock Two or Sweet Savage or no, any of those days? No, no. Oh, okay, no. So this is a recent. Uh, more of a recent yeah i actually met him in uh i think it was uh 99 like i say when dave and i we, we was in a band called crabtree fantastic cd by the way yes it is we're gonna play some yeah. later well, thank you are we yes cool. we are yeah i, I already added it sweet I <laughs> and, and now uh, one more thing about andy um andy is so huge in japan that his line of ibanez guitars uh -huh. has been the top selling Wow, guitar for years nice. over there. That is fascinating. What a talent! I did not we, know that. We, I always <laughs> wanted to be a guitarist. I'm horrible. <laughs> I'm terrible. I've always wanted to be a guitarist until I saw people like Andy, and then I said, "No, I'm gonna find a new a new career real quick." Yeah. And I hung that up. And yeah, uh, Andy kind of makes every guitar player just feel like we're just not a guitar player, really. <laughs> so. Yeah, but he's so humble yeah, about it. You he's know, super nice guy. Yeah, it's very hard to be humble. I've found that out over the years. <laughs> I'm very, but Andy's well, fabulous. At it, my goodness. Well, you you you're coming along nicely with that humble thing. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need a lot of work in many areas. Here. <laughs> uh, Spigoli, what do we do? What, let's, uh, do you want to play go, a song, or you want to? You guys want to go again, or you want to play? You guys want to play, play another, another song? song and then come sure. back? Because yeah. we, we have a special treat we were going to play uh, before you guys play another one. You want to play uh, Uncle uh, Uncle uh, Uncle Dave? Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave. <laughs> yeah, yes. I got one of his tracks lined up too. So. Huh? Yeah. yeah, Uncle Dave, we got one of your songs because you're the new guy in the room. We figured we'd just throw a yeah, song yeah, on him. Um, yeah, absolutely, and we'll, we'll tag your other project as well I on our nice Facebook page. Picture of me, it's great. Cool. Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> Big Mixley. Speaking of uh, Lee's, uh, speaking Lee's. of Dave's songs, yeah, um, on on the 27th, yes. we are going to we have new songs in the set that Dave has already recorded. Oh, sweet, and these songs are super fast. And I and Kenny and Antonio and I, we've never done that type music before cool we've well, been rehearsing be really really, really hard nice. it's really t hard stuff to do we've been rehearsing like crazy i, th I think personally i've recorded uh, rehearsed more in the last three months than i probably have in the last 15 years wow. and, uh, and, <laughs> I, and i and i still need a little bit more <laughs> but 
that you know you were going to play something in Dave's. I just wanted to throw yeah. that in there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was going to say something funny and witty, but I'm so tired I forgot it already. So maybe it'll, maybe it'll come back. Is that your nickname now? I remember you from the Orange Helicopter days. That was orange Dave. Dave. You were Orange, orange Dave. Dave. <laughs> Do you still rock the bow tie? Yeah, I've got some of that stuff. You know, <laughs> I thought it was really cool. I, I'm preparing for death. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Now he actually calls himself All the Rave Dave. <laughs> I gotta write all these nicknames. Right. Right. So when you it, all when the you way, Dave, but then with the venereal diseases, I changed. <laughs> Whenever you introduce the band, you need to name all of the Daves, like okay. before they come on stage. So. <laughs> Very good, <laughs> Joey. Now that we have uh, some time to catch up, since it's been about a year and a half since you've been here, uh, I have more questions. Uh, do you mind? Oh, please. First off, congratulations on finally getting the Shock 2 record out. Oh, thank you so I've much. I've been waiting to hear this for about 20 years. Oh, so. thank you so much, buddy. And I'm thank excited you. to hear it. And how did that came on Demon Doll Records, yes? Yes, uh, Demon Doll Records, it, it's a L.A.-based company. They do reissues of, like, 80s and 90s bands. Um, yes, I, they do. <laughs> I have three records with them. I, we have a Sweet Savage collection of some stuff that... that was never ever heard really other than just some demos that i had great stuff thank, Night is calling thank, love that song oh thank you buddy now that was recorded at michael and tito jackson studio wow. in 87 and as soon as we pulled up we, guns were drawn the police department was right there you could see the ferris wheel all that stuff and the studio is this giant mound of dirt and you go inside this mound of dirt i can't even describe it we were not allowed to take photos and and you're not writing a book, why? That, uh, that should be in there. That's this is good stuff, man. Uh, you know, I'm probably more important than anyone else in the world really thinks I am. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's yeah, a, I would actually love yeah. to do that. You know, the, the the history of the DFW mu music scene is really fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Equal, it was it, especially in the '80s, '90s. It was as good as LA or anywhere. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the '90s, it smoked LA. The the uh, LA thing was great, '60s, '70s, but that '80s thing out there. What was it? About a four year window. Right, uh, yeah, right. It was out there from '87 to '90, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it was probably started a little bit before that. Well, like maybe '85, but by by the time I left out of there, it was dying. Yeah, it it, it was '85 because my band was selling out every building <laughs> there. But actually, the rooms are small out there. Those right. rooms are so sure. famous. Right. And when you, the first time I went there, I was expecting so much. <laughs> I mean, th there are obviously great rooms, but it's nothing like some of the rooms oh, in yeah. Dallas or any even like it was. There's nothing even like Dallas city limits. Uh, Trees is sim is uh, I mean Curtain Club is just a little bit smaller than the uh, whiskey. Whiskey. Yeah. The, uh, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The uh, the Aroxy. I think capacity there is about 300. It has a low ceiling. Right, yep. But these rooms are so famous, and they uh, should be. Some it's of the great. greatest artists ever were, were, uh, were, were discovered there. And Kenny and Antonio and I, we did uh, New Year's Eve at uh, the Whiskey, what was it, 18 and 19. Sure. And this year, um, it's low side. Yeah. Yeah. That's, a, that's very cool. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. We need to pause uh, for legal identification oh, yeah. real quick, and we'll be right back with Joey C. Jones. And company. You're listening to KNON 89.3 FM in Dallas and Fort Worth, the voice of the people. You can get it if you really The last two weeks of every KNON show is available online through Radio Free America. Go to KNON.org and click the banner that says, listen to the last two weeks. KNON streaming, you can get it if you really want. And then we're back, just like that. Just like that. All right, Joey, you've... Uh, I've heard some news lately about Glory House. Oh, yeah. Is thank this you, going to be a thing? Yes. But listen, I got really lucky. The uh, Glory Hounds drummer, Adam Hamilton. Um, Ad I met Adam in 1990. We, uh, we joined C.C. DeVille's band. And um, Real quick, can I ask a simple question yeah. about that? how insane was he back then? All the he's stories. He's been really <laughs> chill when I've all been all in those recent stories, years, but he's... Uh, I've heard nothing but, it's, like, he was a cartoon, comic book it, character it come to insane. life. It was insane. Was he that nuts? Adam Hamilton and I, we had a plan because we <laughs> were certain someone was going to die there. There was always... A, and Cece had a big house, and there was just people... It, like, at four in the afternoon, there's ten people just passed out on the floor and just stepping over them. 
I was usually one of them. Uh, no, I, no, actually, I wouldn't. No, what well, were they so tired from? I mean, it's four o'clock. I'm no, well, that you know, when you stay up for like three days oh. with with whiskey and other substances. Uh, it, but you know, CC's a wonderful guy. He just Where really, he just really partied hard. Uh, Sam Kennison was always there, passed out. It was nice. crazy. It was great. But anyway, Adam Hamilton and I, yes. uh, after the CC thing did not work out. Uh, we formed the uh, Glory Hounds, and that CD has been reissued. But um, also with Demon Dollars or something. Else. No, no, that is a, a label TNT Records. Okay, okay, yeah, I know thank that. Thank you. Yep. And um, Adam and I, and Chris Torak, and Craig Bradford, Les Farrington, we have recently recorded two new songs. Mm -hmm. So we're we're working on uh, like a ten or a twelve tracker. It's just weird when you got five guys in five different states. Right. But Adam Hamilton is so good, it doesn't matter. That guy's just he's, awesome. he's genius. Yeah. Well, technology is really um, yeah, good true. that way now. You can record all over the world and have no problem doing it. Yeah, you know, I kind of like it because no one can, can, can ye yell at me uh, if I'm, like, sharp or flat. or. or <laughs> they send you an email go, no, yeah. that's flat. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for, for, for bringing that up. When, when, you, uh, when can we expect that? Uh, probably not my, in my stocking on Wednesday, but hopefully in the new year, yes? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I would guess about maybe eight months. It, okay. You know, Ad, Adam is really quick. We have a certain style of writing, and it's just, it's just going to be like 70s sound of pop stuff. Cool. Because go looking for that CD that came out, what year was that, 91, 92? That was 94. Excuse me. Uh it's not easy to find, and when it is, when you find it, it's a little bit more than I've got in my wallet. Yeah, well, it it, it has been reissued. It is out there. You Yay! can get it, you can download it or or whatever you whatever you want. No, to do. I gotta have the physical. Yeah, you know me. I have several. I will bring them to you. And speaking of I CDs, I'm bringing some uh, a Sweet Savage Shock Two and Best of stuff that's got some Dave Crow songs on it out there at the show Friday. And Haltom City. Nice. And thank you so much. And if anybody wants to buy them, the money goes yes, to K and N. If people are tight wads, I'll give your ass. I'll give it to you for free. Damn it! Wow. Yeah. So there. You need to show up though. That's the key. I mean, that's a hard yes. thing to do anymore. It, and it and do not let so the fact that it's two days after Christmas discourage anyone from making the short drive. Get out of the house. Get away from the annoying relatives. And come out and hang out with Andy Bring Timmons, or, or, Big or, Mix Lee, Spicoli, Dave, Antonio, K Size. Or better yet, just grab the, the folks at your house, drop them off at the Haltom Theater, and then go back home and leave them there. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. Leave them with us. Well, we're actually, like, we're I, like babysitting them. Be in good hands, I yeah, promise. Sort of. I want all the people listening do not miss this life changing event, <laughs> December the 27th. Yeah. All right, I'll go. I swear I'll make it. I'll be on time. On time. I think I'm coming. <laughs> Somebody got a place I can crash in the city so I'm not late. You guys want to do another song or uh, what are we sure. doing here? All uh, right. Yeah. The uh, floor's yours, brother. This song, uh, Christian Baird, Antonio, K Size, and I recorded it with Alex Gerst. That's the best engineer, producer cat I've worked with. He's out in Carrollton at Empire Sound Studios. And we recorded five songs that came out really good. And this song that we are going to do, it certainly wasn't meant to be acoustic, and you're all going to find that out when you hear a couple notes of my voice here. It's called Hangover Girl, and it's about the girls in the 80s and 90s DFW rock and roll scene. They partied, and they would usually stay for a couple of days. There you go. It was wonderful. Hey, it's all right. Blue eyes look red again. The same old story Every time Once again It's like your head departed Too bad for sad hangover girl The day can't get you started Oh no You can't turn off last night A plan so cold and charted Same old story every time 
It begins It's like your head departed Too bad for sad hangover girl The day can't get you started Oh no, you can't turn off last night The plan's so cold and charted Looking at you, my God, you're such a pageant Way beyond what could be imagined You said there'll never be another one again But you did it, girl It's all right. Blue eyes look red again. Hey, 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 it sounds a lot better electric through a PA, and it sounds even better record. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. There, that's fun. That was fun. <laughs> Hangover Girl, it, DFW Party Girls, the, the Deep Allen Girls, Dallas City Limits Girls, those days, they were just the best. This, this is just another... What was so great about... Oh, sorry, oh no, go ahead, go ahead. What, what uh, no, so no, don't answer that, don't answer that. No, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 it was the attitude, they right. wanted to just have fun. Right. You know, wow, we, we have lost that attitude. Uh, the, oh boy, isn't that the truth? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> somewhat. Someone. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to know what was so great about it, and for Spicoli and the other virgins, please tell. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh! oh. No. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. you know, <laughs> you know I love you. of course, that was awesome. Yeah, you know, back in like basement we'll city later. city limits <laughs> sure. days, all the legendary bands that that was coming to play all the the huge venues around here, and famous athletes, they were all at the Million Dollar Saloon over on Greenville Avenue. Right. <laughs> All of them. It's like if, if you're famous and you're well and you're coming to Dallas, you they were there. I even hung out with Kevin McKell of Boston Celtics there. Graham, a big sports fan. Yeah, I annoyed the hell out of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm just really thrilled with Cano and, and and Dave Chaos. You know, because you're not allowed to do this on the radio anymore. No. You know what I mean? FM radio for a band to just show up and do this and hang out, or like we dig up, we played the the Black Horse and we did the interview with the guys with Black Horse. You can't do that, you know. The the, the corporate America will not let that happen. So uh, I'm just blown away and thrilled that people who do listen to Cano and I doesn't our listeners I don't know, but <laughs> but Cano has been going what 36 years and it's wow. all no commercials like you, what we play here there's not one single real commercial like it, it, we don't do that all our money comes from listeners so uh, I'm I'm just thrilled that we can continue this I want to bring back like the the live concerts like Z Rock and oh, stuff yeah. used to do I mean oh, yeah, I absolutely. would love to do and, that and you know listen K N O N Reckless Rock Radio, you guys care so much about the uh, Metroplex music scene. Well, we do now. It's fabulous. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> At Every, first, we didn't know what we were doing. We just no, showed up one day. No, and it's like, I know what you were guys we thinking? Playing. Listen, man, <laughs> everybody in this area knows Spicoli. Yeah, that's not a you good thing. You were the thing. best oh, damn yeah. sound man in this area. <laughs> I'm the oldest. When you guys started this show, I know that you wanted to help out DFW right. bands, and we're all grateful for that. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank and you for you helping us You go to a lot well, of other man. cities. They could actually care less, right? You know, right. I get it. Uh, yeah. But like I said, when when we first I'm started, bomb this. every one of their buildings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, yeah, a bad, right. a bad yeah. decade. Yeah. 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 We're off the air. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> <laughs> For once, <laughs> the FBI is listening. That's a euphemism. I was thinking about the the jerky boys. 
the views expressed by Joey C. Jones are not shared by Reckless Rock Radio or KNON. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling here. My God. That's all right. It's been a long week, man. Sunday always comes. I always get here every Sunday night, and I'm worn out, and I'm tired, but then I listen to everything I plan, and it turns me right around. It's, it's, a, it's a great way to end the week, wind. man. Yeah, my 17th wind. Um, but it's, this is nothing new for you being tired. You've done no. big tours, and when you're doing those big arenas the way that uh, you did, you guys put in like 18-hour days when you, when you do that. Oh, stuff. yeah. I survived on uh, one of the, those tours. It was The Rock Never Stops. And uh, somehow I, I volunteered and uh, said yes to do monitors for – I was touring with Tesla at the time. But we had Jackal, Skid Row, and Vince Neil on the bill. And this meal? I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> and and they they asked me and the production company that w- was doing the sound. They they said, hey, you know, you're going to be out here anyway. Do you want to do all these guys? And we'll you know you'll get a paycheck from everybody, and we'll kick down if you want to stage manage the whole day. And I said yes. That was the wow. longest three months of my life. I survived on beer and chocolate chip cookies and. I would get in the bus and I would close that curtain. People think you close that curtain to keep the light out. No, you close that curtain to get rid of all the oxygen in your bunk so you pass out completely until somebody opens it again. That's how that works. But that was a long, long three months. It felt like a lifetime. Uh, those acts were lucky to have you, <sighs> especially Vince Meal. Dude, he was you, you know, people make fun of that guy, and, and it's, it, it's easy. Um, it is. It is easy. I shouldn't make up. No, no. Yeah. But easy. you know what? I, I can do it right now. If you I want. have all the respect <laughs> in the world for the guy. You know, he was doing things that people didn't have a name for yet, and you know, to lose a few brain cells in the process, and it you know influenced me growing up, and I think I turned out kind of okay. Everybody. So loves, I have loves to respect true. the guy. I mean, he, I apologize <laughs> to everyone for ripping on Vince Neil. Yeah. I've got into an argument with him. He, I was friends with the sound man that he punched. Yeah. And that that is the only reason that I'm talking yeah. bad about no, it. it. But he did sound really good on that Motley Crue song, Ham Sweet Ham. <laughs> uh, I've seen that video on yeah. YouTube. Grills, yeah, grills, grills, grills. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, yeah, girls, girls, girls. And also, I I really like Shout at the Deli. Yeah, that that one yeah. was. I'm sorry. Dude, I have another rock star that I had I- issues uh, with, but we're not going to go there. Craig oh, Bradford knows man. that one. Uh-oh. I had uh, I had a beef on it too. I actually that was the only tour I ever actually quit in my life. I think, um, but Craig Craig knows that one. I don't want to talk about it because I'm not that guy. I'll let you do it next time you come in. I'll tell you the story <laughs> and you can tell it like it's yours and then it won't. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, I that was a nightmare. Understand? That was. A I sh- love Sunday nights. <laughs> this, is, this is why hey, I uh, still come speaking, here. Speaking, this kind of speaking stuff. of that band, yes, you know. Spicoli, yeah. When, when, he, when he does that rat cover no, no, stuff, no, 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 we don't no, no, talk no. about that. We don't no, no, talk no, about no, that. No, 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 no Joey, listen. we're not allowed to talk you know, about that. I'm no, sorry. No, no, that's no, okay. It's okay. You sound better than uh, Piercy. Yeah. yeah. Have so. you um, have have you guys listened to our uh, I'm uh, Live Wire cover that we have on YouTube? Uh, Spicoli, yeah, Spicoli singing. Spicoli actually and, sang Live Wire. Yeah, yeah. Oh. In the, the we air. did it here, like. I backed him up. The dirt so came the out, yeah. so yeah. everybody was talking about yeah. Motley Crue. Uh, that was the reason it worked. Yeah, the, the, the dirt came out, and everybody was talking about Motley Crue. So I, we're a local show. I can't play Motley Crue, so we had to come up with a way to, you know, cater to the masses and all these viral kids or whatever they got. And um, so I got a karaoke version of Live Wire, and, and Greg sang it, and we and it's it's on YouTube. Well, awesome. uh, yeah, no, it's not it's not awesome at all. Spicoli <laughs> will be. <laughs> Spicoli will be appearing live <laughs> with K Size, Dave Crow, absolutely, Antonio Brazil, cool. and me next I, Friday. Oh, sweet, you, you were singing live, with yeah, me. absolutely. Oh, okay. yeah, the yeah, last song, yeah, yeah. 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 He, he, he's up there. Uh, that throwing mm-hmm. copper CD, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my like make out CD when I was fourteen. Uh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I was I was there with you. You're a terrible kisser. <laughs> Did you wipe off the CD when you were done making out with it? Joey? Yeah. Oh, man. So how many songs are you guys prepared to attempt? You, Tonight? Yeah, right now. That, that is it. Oh, come on. I was on. digging that Beatles cover yeah. y'all were doing, though. Yeah. No, no. We, oh. we was doing that because I, I need to warm up. Well, yeah. Yeah. let's warm up some more. Do it. Do it. I, I don't think that uh, that we are prepared. I, I think oh, that, uh, okay. that, that, uh, that uh, Spicoli said, too. Is there yeah, he cut mind? you off. You got anything you can throw out there one more time? You want to do a drum solo? 
Kenny? <laughs> All right, you ready? I got it. I got you dialed in. Rock it, Kenny. Yeah, I got it. I got you dialed in. <laughs> oh, Kenny's in here too. Honestly, What's up, bro? hi, Kenny. Honestly, Big Mix Lee, no, we have good, been man. rehearsing electric so much yeah, lately. Yeah, understood. That we did the acoustic rehearsal this afternoon. And we should have been a little more prepared. No, not Sorry at all. I'm just throwing that. you under the Hopefully bus, dude. Hopefully, you will have us back. Absolutely. Anytime you want. I know. I'm going to have to pay about five grand before yeah. you let me back Heck, on. I'll give you my key card. You we can show up be, every Sunday and I'll stay We will home. be prepared for no, as many, it was as awesome. many songs as you would like for us to do. No, I'm, I was Absolutely. awesome. So, okay, just to recap now, we're re-releasing uh, Glory Hounds. Glory Hounds. Yeah. Glory Hounds. Coming in the, in the near future. Yeah. Um, the the Demon Doll Records has Demon Doll Records has a, a Sweet Savage collection, a Shock Two collection, and a Twenty One song best of JCJCD. It's got songs that I wrote with Dave, songs I did with Cheap Trick, a song I wrote with CC from cool. Poison, and Mark St. John of. Yes. Oh, okay. So this isn't the melody for the masses. This is a no, 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 different no, 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 no. Okay. That no, that a melody from it, it was just a, a little local thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one it's a little. Okay, we're gonna put you on the spot. You yeah. Wanna, you want to do a tune? Uh oh. I'm nervous. Why? Wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, we'll, we'll do like a, just a couple of passes through of a Who song. Awesome. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I forgot the lyrics. I'm Shut sorry. down. I'll pull them right up. What's no, 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 you don't have to if you want. No, oh, no, no, I'd love to, but no, okay. I don't know the damn words. Now I, I want to throw okay? this. I don't even know. Song, okay. right. I always sorry, fake the words to the <laughs> songs I wrote. You don't know Miles? Oh, come on. Now I do. Hold on. Sorry, I don't. I do. Hold on. Miles Nelson. Hold on, everybody. Hold on a minute. I want to throw this out there too because Joey's throwing out his plugs for what he's got going on. But the one thing he doesn't really plug very often is Joey. Joey has an amazing collection of YouTube videos. Really yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you so There's much. There's some way cool stuff out there. So, I, I have tons more, but every time I pay someone to, to <laughs> throw them up there, they're right. about as good at doing it as me. Right. I don't have a damn clue about it. I got boxes of stuff. Oh, man. Really? Don't tell boxes. me that kind of thing. Uh, it, boxes it, of them. Boxes. What can we do other than a uh, Who song? I love the Who. It's so that great. That's it. That's all yeah. we know. Man. Uh, if you do the Beatles song, you, you can hum you. hum along. Don't, uh, you don't have to yeah. sing the words. Man, I'll be tanking that one. Yeah. She was. I'll just turn you off if it's terrible. You really picked the wrong month to quit drinking. <laughs> That's what I do. I I pick the weakest link and just turn them down. That's my gig, yeah, dude. There you go. I, I hey, can, can we just do a couple big shout outs? I want to say a, a big shout out to Baby Jade. I love you, little girl. And a big shout out to Dr. John Page, who's helping me out a lot. Daryl Grattan in you, a, uh, Canada. Uh, Canada's Canada? the most amazing country on the Canada planet. Where is that? This by Africa, right? Yeah, yeah, right next door. Yeah. Kenny, any big shout outs? I got a couple legacy shows coming up. Yes. Hey, yeah, hey, hey legacy. There you go. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, that that there are some stiff fans that are. Oh, that we are play listening. stiff. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They do play stiff. Yep. Speaking of stiff, Uh-oh. will you ever reissue those old T-shirts? I think you would make a killing. No kidding. You know what I'm talking about. He will buy them all. They're legendary. I will buy all of them. I get asked about that all the time. Well, there you go. We'd have to have, uh, you know, print it up and... Everything, we'll sell for twenty four ninety five. Your losses. No problem. Spicoli will personal fi- personally finance most of it from buying them. So. <laughs> it was an awesome shirt. <laughs> just put them on eBay one at a time for three hundred dollars. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, and he'll just buy them as they pop up. Just yeah. wash them a lot and crinkle them all up. Amazing yeah, that how much eighties and nineties stuff is on eBay. And oh, uh, a lot same. of it. A lot of it, like so, some of the videos, you know, it was from, from VHS. It's all grainy and stuff, yep. but people still love it and buy it. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or I got my sweet savage shirt. <laughs> uh, Chris Sheridan. Um, Chris at you know dot, dot com. There's, okay. There's, he has sweet savage shirts. He has the uh, sweet savage oh. archive CD, and he's also selling um, a, a full show uh, DVD that we did at Savvy's, and this DVD has 18 minutes of 19 year old Dimebag Daryl oh, af- wow. after the show. We just yeah. followed. We just followed him around. Uh, well, I, I did. The person with the camera just followed him around. It was amazing. And cool. every time I watch it, I get I get sad. Right. Uh, right. Now, I, Joey, I do, I don't want to make you like I've thrown you under the bus. I feel like I did that, um, but oh, you're no. you're kind of locked in here now. But I don't <laughs> want you to feel like I threw you under the bus. So oh, if you don't want to, no if you guys don't want to do this, you don't have to. But no, we we would love to play for the yeah. next eight hours. <laughs> if we had something rehearsed, we no, are no, a electric good, rock band, and it's a little tough yeah. to translate I, our stuff into the acoustic 
and the, the four of us haven't hung around <laughs> long, long enough to decide what cover yeah. songs that, you're, that, you're that we all, all good, actually man. know. Huh? We're all good. I, I, I threw under that yeah. under that bus, but uh, we um, do you uh, do you know offhand? Because I should know this already. What time are you guys going on uh, on the twenty seventh? I oh. believe Spicoli yeah, said that, that we are on at nine p.m. I nine p.m. Nice. Yeah, I, I can bring that up. No, oh, there we go. I, will, uh, yeah. I forgot. You read out the whole thing, just so everybody knows what they're getting into on the 27th there. Friday, December 27th at the Haltom Theater in Haltom City, Texas. It's Rock and Rebuild, starring Coilback, the Adam Nanez Band, the Joey C. Jones Band, Annie Timmons, and Dark Avenue. 7, 8, 9, 10. 7, 8, 9. 9 o'clock, Joey. It's when you go 9 o'clock. So, Very good. <laughs> yeah. Very good. We and we to we're going to get out there early. We we want to check out all those bands are good. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. it's going to be an awesome night. Actually, I'm excited. About I'm it. very excited. Totally yeah. excited. I yeah. got a new jacket for this. I'm going to go total Bob Barker, and I'm <laughs> thrilled, man. <laughs> good, good. And Big Mix Lee yes, is, is going to have all those bands sounded good. I'm going to try. Oh, you're going to uh, work I'm gonna this try. too? Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm going to try and make, pull this oh, off. Yeah, I I'm see a, why. I'm actually bringing it. Well, of course you know why. <laughs> I can multi-track. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yeah. But I'm actually bringing... Uh, we haven't talked to the venue about this yet, so surprise on them. Uh, but I've actually... Uh, a, a guy who works with me has, has lent me a nice Midas console. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, it's going to be big and warm, and oh. it's going to be very cool. So, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm thrilled about it. And I can't thank you guys enough for helping out, man. Yes. Oh, um, man. All of you, man. Yeah. Oh, man, we, it, we are lucky. Thank you. Very lucky and very, very thrilled to do it. We are thrilled, for sure. I'm, uh, who's lucky is, is Lou, Lifesaver Lou here. He actually had to ride through the whole thing in the building. Uh, I wasn't there. Yay. And, uh, <laughs> I wasn't there yet. And uh, but man, when he posted his videos and his pictures of the studio, like seven minutes after, uh, uh, it, the the internet blew up. Uh, we were getting. I was getting phone calls from like the Associated Press. Um, if if you're just bored one day and you want something to do, <laughs> go to Google and put in Reckless Rock Radio Tornado. Okay, those exact words. There'll be about fifteen pages, top to bottom, of loose story. Yeah, I got, and, I got and my photos. name like on the BBC and yeah, all yeah, it was stuff. crazy, it's really weird. It you was are like such a bragger, Lou. Yeah, yeah, you should write a book, Lou. Yeah. You should write a book. So you know, yeah. you can if you want to get my autograph after the show, just hit me up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll hook you up. So yeah. Hey, I was, hey Big Mix Lee. Yeah, I was at uh, Gas Monkey Bar and Grill to yeah. see uh, Sebastian Bach. Yeah, 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 and. Um, I can't remember. I, I got there at like eight, and the cops made everybody go inside. Sure. And it got and it got really stuffy, and I decided to just go ahead and leave. I'm a horrible driver anyway. I've I've, I've had three wrecks in a year and a half. Wow. Anyway, so I I took off driving, and it was right behind me. It was right. really yeah. really weird. It it kind of started right at that area, right? Like just after Gas Monkey, I think it kind of touched down. Yeah, there. it was like Walnut Hill and 35. Right yeah. There. What I want to know is where you drive the most, so I can just kind of stay away. <laughs> you know, in the past years, any my my bandmates, friends, or crew guys, no one would even let let me drive. I don't know what the hell it is about. You know, you only have I don't to, I've, I've had problems with focusing on anything. Yeah. You, you only have to wreck one like three times in one year once for never nobody to ever. You know, never have to be the responsible one driving the van back from Houston to Dallas or something. So, good <laughs> oh, good no, call, dude. No, that was brilliant. No way anyone would have let. Yeah, that was Stevie brilliant. Wonder wouldn't let him, me drive him. There's just no way. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I can't focus and concentrate. Dave Dave Crow's been frustrated with me for 20 years about that. <laughs> uh, Uncle Dave, you wanted to mention your Thunder Horse band. Oh, yeah, I'm my, thrilled to hear that, especially uh, since I heard the words dark, dark, ah, this one over here. dark yeah. metal. That, yeah, that got a, my attention. It's a, it's a doom metal band. It's called ooh. Thunder Horse out of San Antonio. Nice. Um, let's see. It's on Bandcamp. I know that. And we're on Facebook and all that other business. Sweet. We have one record out, and we're working on our second record right now. How long have you been doing this? Oh, a couple of years. I'm not the the guys were in a band called Pitbull Daycare that played around oh, yeah. for probably 20 years. Mm-hmm. A fantastic band, yeah. and so I'm kind of them, Pitbull Daycare and me. I and see. the guitar player I grew up with, his name is Todd Conley, and uh, great guy, great player. 
all the guys are great. And uh, so, anyway, that's what I'm doing. Do metal like Candlemas? Uh, uh, Mono Lord. Oh, okay. Mono Lord. <laughs> the uh, videos, Dave, the, the Thunder Force videos are cool. I like those. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a bunch of stuff on the YouTube and all that. You know, We'll, we'll try to get a link up on our page, too. Yeah, please. Now, now Kenny, you didn't have a mic before, but you have some uh, plugs, too. You're in uh, multiple bands as well, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first of all, um, I'd like to plug a legacy show that we've got at the Halton Theater. Uh, with Cortez, Blackout, and Novocaine. And then May the 23rd, I believe it is, we're opening up for Kicks. Nice. And Again. Gas Again. Monkey Bar That's and great, Grill. By the way. Yeah. Yeah, so Gas Monkey Bar and Grill gets their shot at them this time. Sweet. Nice. <laughs> Gee, Kenny, you oh, we you also, were getting all the good gigs. But, but we also, <laughs> yeah, jo Joey, uh, we've got a band, or excuse me, a gig uh -huh. with. Uh, Canton Hall. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, listen. Antonio is like is the guy in charge of that. I'm not even allowed in Canton Hall. <laughs> Tell us about it, Antonio. So yeah. we were supposed to play with King's X in November, and the show was delayed because uh -huh. of uh, Jerry having mm. heart surgery. So that show has been mm. rescheduled for April 20th, I believe, at Canton Hall. So cool. King's Very X will cool. be back around, and we'll be opening for them. Now, My favorite band. Bezel on the bill, too. Why aren't you, Joey, why aren't you allowed in Canton Hall? That's right. No. Oh, I was just showing oh, okay. <laughs> well, right. well, no, I, I am allowed. I'm just not, not welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole different story. Yeah. Um, now, Antonio, are you in any other bands? Or is I have. If you want to listen to some older stuff. Yes, uh, we do. Yes, on, please. Uh, uh, SoundCloud.com forward slash Brazil Rock Music. I have a couple albums on there. Okay. So. Just now, solo stuff? or so, just, okay. uh, Brazil was my band in, uh, in the late 80s and through the 90s. And it's, it has a, a, a feel of some, some cool late 80s sound, and then we progressed into some really heavy drop D tuning. I'm, King's X is one of my favorite right. bands. See, I got the King's X tattoo on my you wrist. You sure do. Now, now, so look at that. so it's a bunch of drop D heavy guitar based music with three part harmony and cool. stuff like right. that. So well, find that on. Antonio on is a lead vocalist. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. His harmonies are fantastic. Him and Dave, the harmonies are, are fantastic, but Antonio is, is a lead singer. Now, I have to... Another I, band that I sang for called Foresight Circle, and I was okay. with them for oh, six okay. years. Now, I, I, have to, I have to ask, because every time somebody brings up a band that I'm kind of don't not familiar with, now, are you a, a Dallasite? Are you born and raised here? Like, no, all I, these bands kind of... I grew of up in... Uh, uh, well, I, I, I grew up in L.A., Okay. and then as a teenager, I moved to East Texas, Tyler. Okay. Culture shock. Uh, yes. Culture shock, yeah, right. for sure. Yeah, wow. However, the guy I played... <laughs> Uh, uh, playing a band with, he owned a music store in East Texas, and uh, Sam Taylor's uh, brother worked for JBL. Gotcha. And so I heard a demo of this little band from Texas called King's X in yeah. like 87. Wow. And it changed the way I played music. You were in Tyler, Texas in the late 80s? Yes. Oh my God. So, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but the, so was I, kind of. The, yeah. the, the reason I asked about yes. those bands, because we'll play it. If, if, oh, yeah, are, yeah. Are, they, are they Texas bands? Or are yeah, they yeah. LA bands? No, okay, it's all no, they're Texas. all Texas? Yeah, okay, cool. Texas. So we can dig, dig that yeah, up. It's and Brazil. It's on SoundCloud. Cool. Awesome. Hey, Antonio, you got to tell them the Van Halen story. This is oh, great. boy. Check, check this out. Okay. I love Van Halen yeah. stories. Yeah. Will Roth get redeemed? <laughs> so I uh, I I was a, a child actor in L.A. Okay. Oh didn't, boy. Didn't play can guitar. we can we tell the story on the we radio? Can't okay. Go. <laughs> All right. We we can, about Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> we, we we can tell this story. All right. So I I, I was uh, I was in an acting school in L.A. and I happened to be doing a play with this girl named Allison Roth, and uh, she said, Hey, uh, do you want to go see my brother's band play? And <laughs> I was like into Kiss and everything. So I said, uh, Sure, I don't care. And we showed up at the L.A. Coliseum, and it was the Cal Jam, uh, and it was Van Halen. Wow. And I'm waiting backstage. <laughs> I was a kid looking at these two limos pull up, and Eddie gets out of one limo, and David gets out of the other. And they have a girl on each arm, and I'm like, whatever they're doing, <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And I picked up the guitar the next day, and that influenced me to pick up the guitar. As wow. Playing. That's yeah. a... Yeah. So, and I got to hang out with... Uh, with David, who was very, very sweet dude yeah. back then, and and uh, all I remember oh, is I was James. sitting. This shows a little kid's mind. I was sitting in between Alex and Eddie's mother and David's mom. They were kind of, you know, protecting me there at the L.A. Coliseum. And David came out and was cussing his head off, and I was like, 
oh my god dude you're cussing in front of your mom how could you do that <laughs> it was the beginning of a wonderful career yes, it so was. everybody <laughs> should try it everybody should try that and uh, see if it helps their career at all yeah i kept looking at him like are they gonna you know do that <laughs> Well, that's a good story. I'm yeah, glad yeah, you yeah. made him tell that story. Yep. What hey, are we doing? Oh. Antonio has a cassette in what was it, like 76 or something? 75. Van Halen used to play Backyard Party. Yeah. Was that like 1975? Covers. Nice. Excellent. And, and he, he has a cassette of that. All right. Yeah, my, cool. friend, my friend used to hang out at the Pasadena Backyard Parties near Van Halen play James Gang and stuff like that. But, and he sent it to me uh, about five years ago. Yeah. And it's pristine. It's a cassette of a backyard concert of '75, and Van Halen is actually playing stuff off Diver Down oh, in '75. Wow! Wow! So, yeah, yeah, cool. Really, really cool. Damn, that yeah, I would love to hear this. Yes, yeah. I uh, I wish I knew what I knew now. I would have moved to LA in the '80s too because uh, I probably would have been um, in a better situation, money <laughs> money wise. I think. <laughs> I wish. Yeah, that's a song waiting to happen. <laughs> it's it's more of a country song uh, in my mind. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, thank you guys for coming thank out. Thank you so much, thank gentlemen. So much. Friday, December twenty seventh, uh, coming up here this Friday. Joey C. Jones Band will be live at the Halton Theater with Dark Avenue Coilback, Adam Nanez, and Andy Timmons. Please come help us out with, uh, for a good cause. We're rebuilding the station, and these guys are generous enough to donate their time and talents and gentlemen we really appreciate this Absolutely. no we appreciate every musician and every music fan that is listening to this support KNON because they care about Texas rock and there's not many people who do other than the fans and our and the bands and it's a it's a tough are, business right now man holy yes smoke. it is it yeah. is tough that's why i'm going to give it up and i'm going back to the pro motocross circuit <laughs> So, but please support KNON. It's it's the right thing to do. Have you ever just thought of taking up a career as a comic? Because um, that's it, you could do that too. He was a wrestling manager. He was yeah. a wrestling manager. That, that is that, right, dude. That was the most fun I've ever had in my life. At that, I, I started in '97 and I did it to '03, and by '97 I'd already been in the music business like 12 years, trying to make everybody love me. It was was this hard. with my old friend Chris Myers? No, Chris. Chris, oh, Chris, was, Chris, was, Chris was a little afterward. Okay. So Sorry. I was always a fan of wrestling, and I got to work with some legends, Jake, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, Freebird, Terry Gore, a bunch of guys. But what, the reason it's the funnest thing I ever did in my life was all those years in the music business trying to make everybody love you is tough. In the pro wrestling business, it, within seconds, they hated me. <laughs> and these people, whether they – people know that, that it's a work, but they still hate you. And you just have to – cops would have to follow – me and whoever was driving me, because I wasn't allowed to drive because I was in a wreck. They they would follow us. They would follow us like a, like you know we we used to sell out the uh, Bronco Bowl, and they would follow until I got back on thirty. And people really wanted to beat me up. And I was at a Home Depot <laughs> one day, and this guy tried to pick a fight with me. And I was doing um uh, we we had a big car down a Waco, and this old lady walked up to the rail where I was standing and. Punched me right in the damn ear with, with this <laughs> ring. So, wow. People take their wrestling serious. Yeah, they uh, do. Yeah, Punched it's fun. Old lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just because I used to tell the audience how tough I was, and I said, right now I'm challenging every woman in this building. <laughs> to, I will. I can defeat any woman in the building. Uh, now, who were you managing? Uh, let's see. Uh, Works with Jake the Snake uh, oh, Roberts, okay, okay. one wow, okay. one man gang, Freebird, Terry Gordy, uh, Iceman Parsons, oh, Dan, the B Seven, Gentleman Chris Adams. Uh, I thought that's Cedric just folks you cross paths with. These yeah, were actually yeah yeah your, yeah your boys. Um, yeah. We had a TV show from okay. uh, ninety nine to 03. Oh boy, you are gonna be on YouTube now. I'm gonna find that stuff and I'm gonna be yeah. up all yeah. night. Yeah, all night long. <laughs> Gentlemen, again, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys so, you much. so much, man. We're going to do a couple public service announcements and uh, do a tribute to Batman. Happy Don't holidays forget. to Merry everyone. To you guys, and thank you again. Thank you guys so much. Yay. Joey C. Jones Band, give it up, ladies Yay. and gentlemen.